right, welcome to Total Body Conditioning. Um, with Ellen, we are going to do a total body workout, and we're going to use weights for today's workout. Um, as you can see, I'm barefoot, so I'm not doing any kind of high impact movements. Those will be options for today's workout. We're going to do three warm-up exercises for one minute each. Um, we are starting, it's about 518, so we'll go just a few minutes after six. I just want to make sure you all get your full 45-minute workout. So we're actually going to start our first exercise that you're going to do for one minute is a hyperextension movement up into a plank. So you're going to start on your belly. You're going to do a nice big hyperextension, and you're going to push right up to your plank. You can do this on your knees or on your toes. Okay? So let's start with that one for one minute. I'm going to grab my timer, and we're going to get started. So come on down. We're going to start in three, two, and go. I'm going to put some music on. So maybe there, um, oh, we got Liz. Awesome. So maybe people are celebrating the first night of Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah to anybody out there. Um, but I have a great workout for you all. So we're going to, we're going to work hard. All right, so you were almost at that 30 second mark. You're gonna keep going for 30 more seconds. Um, and this is just a warm up exercise. So we're starting with our back with that hyperextension movement. Hope you all are having a good week so far. Or if you're watching this later, that you're ready for a good workout. All right, we're gonna do this, this exercise for five more seconds. So we're gonna move on to exercise two for our warm up. Three, two, and one. All right, stay low. Exercise number two, we're gonna come to a downward facing dog. We're gonna do plank knee tap. So down dog, you're gonna tap that opposite knee, come back to your plank and switch. So for one minute, starting in three, two, and go. So I'm reaching for my knees, but if you have a little more range of motion and flexibility, maybe you're reaching for your heel or your foot, but it's the opposite side. So knee tap in that down dog position, come back to your plank and then do the other side. Moving. We are warming up that core, that upper body. Our final warm-up exercise will be standing. A little more traditional kind of squat movement. 20 more seconds. Thursday night, everyone. Get ready. Tomorrow's Friday. You should feel your back warming up. Five more seconds. Let's make sure we're breathing, not holding our breath in this plank. And let's go ahead and stand up. Our third warm up exercise. Hands behind our head. We're going to come into a prisoner squat. Feet are about hip distance. We're going to come down to that squat and then reach for the opposite foot. So, sort of like what we've done before. All right, go ahead and start. One minute. Squat. Reach for the opposite knee, shin or toe as you kick your leg straight up, right? Sort of a swing. We are warming up the back of our legs here, but also our core, turning that on. All right, looking good, everyone. Keep moving, we will do a quick stretch for about one minute when we're done with this, and then I'll get us started on circuit number one. 20 seconds. Maybe get a little bit lower on that squat while keeping your chest up. So I just have a little bit of background music. Feel free to blast holiday music or whatever you would like for your workout. All right, we've got three, two, and you're gonna stop. All right, so I'm gonna stop the music just so if you can hear me clearly. Let's shake it out and roll those shoulders. Oh, I'm already feeling warm. So hopefully you guys are as well. Nice big shoulder rolls. And then let's crisscross those arms, shake them out. We'll come into a nice full body roll. Feet wide, shoulders first. Inhale, 
Bend the knees, exhale, roll it up. And let's do it two more times, inhale. So we do have weights for our workout today. Grab those if you have them. Let's go ahead and stay low. Or soup cans, water bottles, you all know the drill. Laundry detergent, right? If you have the kind of the handle. And let's just sort of shift our hips here side to side. Make sure you also have some water. Even though it's cold outside, we tend to get more dehydrated in the winter. So drink up that water. Let's roll forward and slowly roll it up. And then find some circles here with those knees to open up our hips. Okay, so circuit number one. I'm just gonna demo exercise one. We're gonna do it for 45 seconds. 15 second transition, I will show you exercise two. So this way we are moving the whole time and not really wasting any time. Okay, so exercise one, a little bit of cardio. You're gonna grab those weights. I'd recommend the heavier of the options that you have, if you have options. So feet are wide, okay? We're gonna come down into, I'm oh, sorry, I'm gonna hold them this way. Come down to a squat. You're gonna drop the weights down. You're gonna come into a star jump. Fit them back up and just a shoulder raise. Repeat. So drop, star jump, pick them up, and then a raise. So another option for that star jump is just lifting up to the balls of your feet. So let's start with that one. 45 seconds. I'll get music back on. Here we go. Three, two, and start. So low squat, lower them down. Star jump, put them back up. Front raise. Make sure you're not swinging those arms. So I'm gonna show you from the side. It's all about the hips here, right? Hips go down. Star jump. Hit them back up. Front raise. Keep moving. So the jump is if you want that extra challenge. Otherwise, we're lifting up to the balls of our feet and have a little less than 10 more seconds. And then I'll show you exercise two. You'll get 15 to recover. We've got three, two, all right, and stop. Next one, step back, right leg. Low lunge, curl, knee lift. Step back, see how low I am? My back goes with it nice and flat. Let's start with that right leg. Ready, set, go. Big step back, low lunge, curl while you're low. Bring that knee to your chest. Stay on that right side. It's that right leg. Get as low as you can, bicep or hammer curl. And then you drive that knee to your chest. Whew. Hello, a little balance here. Keep moving. So you're actually gonna feel this mainly on the standing leg, the one that's stabilizing you, okay? 15 seconds. So look at my screen. I want you this low in that lunge. Your chest goes down. And then you're straight up, okay? Let's go. Woo! Keep it about five more seconds. Then I'll show you our third one. Oh, this one's fun. All right, take a little breather. One of your dumbbells. Side plank, crisscross your elbows. Inner plank, okay? It's a hip lift and then arm extends up. Lift, okay? We normally do a dip, right? But this time it's lift up. Come back to regular. No dropping. Lift up. Extend the arm. You got a few extra seconds there. All right, here we go. Doesn't matter what side, we'll switch. All right, ready, set, let's go. So, side plank. Hips lift up, lower them back to regular starting position and extend your arm. Repeat, hips lift, extend arm up. Hips lift, extend arm. So this could also be done with that bottom leg supporting. Hips lift. Top arm extends, keep up. We're staying on this side until our second round. Woo, keep it up. Also doing this on the forearm if you want it harder. Maybe doing this on your hand. And a straight arm plank, right? So the hips go up. So I'm showing the harder challenge here if you want to try it. Woo, a lot harder, you should feel your core here. We've got three more seconds on our final exercise. All right, go ahead and relax. Here's our final one. One of those heavier dumbbells. A low, narrow squat. Lift up to the balls of your feet. We're gonna reverse fly. One arm at a time. So see how I switch it? And I'm on the balls of my feet in a narrow squat. If you want harder, crouching. 
okay? Woo, feel that leg burn, all right? Here we go, one of those heavier dumbbells. 45 seconds, and start. Start at your narrow squat, lift your heels. Extend one arm back, reverse fly one at a time, okay? Woo! So you're gonna feel your legs burning, not just those arms. Keep going. I want you to tuck your hips under while you're doing this. Extra challenge, you get even lower to the floor. We're about halfway. It's a little more like a crouch, right? Try to get those heels off the floor. You can always bring them back down if you need to, just to get your stability back, right? Start from the base, then add on that challenge once you're ready, okay? Woo. Keep going a few more seconds and we start back at the top. Three, two, ten seconds. So it's that squat, start jump, front raise. Second time, this time it's for a minute. Ready, set, and go. Heavy weights. Lower them down, start jump, pick them back up, front raise. Repeat. If you want this harder, you're adding a star jump. Make sure you're using your legs, keep going, to reach for those dumbbells, right? Our chest stays up from the side. Drop your hips back, okay? If you're having a hard time reaching the floor, you can just maybe drop the weights if they're not too heavy, if you're not on like the fifth floor, right? Keep going. I'm on carpet so I can gently drop them. You don't want to compromise your form just to try to reach the floor, okay? Keep going. You have six seconds. And then we're gonna go right into that lunge with the left leg. Three, two, left leg, go. Big step lunge, curl at the bottom, knee to chest, repeat. So here you can sort of get your breath back. But really we're working on that balance here for stability. Come on. It's a big step back. So low lunge, you're dropping your hips with it, and you're adding that curl. Keep moving from the front, or from an angle. See how nice and low I have that curl. And then I bring that knee to my chest. Woo, so on that right leg, the one that's stabilizing me. Keep moving. All right, 15 more seconds. Remember this runs a little longer. Then we've got our side plank. Couple more seconds. Three, two, come on down, side plank. Grab just one dumbbell, you're on the other side. Elbow or hand, crisscross those ankles. Ready, set, go. Hip lift, extend your arm. So I'm doing a little bit harder version with my arm straight. Keep that. Remember, we're lifting the hip and we're not dropping it. Lower than our starting position, right? Hips lift to the ceiling, and you extend that arm up. Keep it up. You could also just do those hip lifts, right? Keep going, everyone. And then our last exercise is coming up, and then we're going to go into a cardio core circuit. We have that single arm fly in our squat position. You've got five seconds left. Can you lift those hips a little higher? Keep breathing. Three, two, grab one of those heavy dumbbells. Sit up in that narrow squat. Ready, set. Let's get up. So starting from the base, I'm sitting way back in this narrow squat. Passing that weight. Tuck those hips under. If you want it harder, lift your heels off the floor. Woo! Even harder, get low like you're crouching. Woo, feel those legs burn. Keep that chest up. Oh, this is much harder. I'm falling over. Keep up, keep it up. You are more than halfway. And then we've got 30 second cardio, 30 second core circuit. We'll go through that twice and then we'll get our, our break. All right? Keep moving. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, right? 
So we've got five seconds left. Keep moving. I'm going to preview your exercises. Three, two, do that a little further because you have to watch what I'm doing. Cardio, both weights. Okay? Let's do a little side tap, but I'm adding a little hop to really keep my heart rate up. And we're adding punches. All right? Whip your about those weights. And then our core is a weighted sit up. Weights at your chest, knees bent. Sit up and then tap your heels twice. So sit up, you're gonna lift, lower, lift, lower. So we got those lower abs engaged, okay? 30 seconds cardio, 30 seconds core, two rounds. Starting standing, ready, set, and go. Punch and tap. So you can start right here with just a tap, right? Whew. If you want a little more, add a little jump there. Set a little hop and do it. Come on. Keep it up. I'm just going to grab my letter weights for this one, okay? Whew. Come on. It is only 30 seconds. And you've got five, four, three, two. Come on down. Wait a sip. Two toe lifts. We'll say toe lift. Ready, set, go. Sit up. Lift the heels. Heel lift. Come back down. Sit back up. Heel lift. Woo, getting those lower abs. You're keeping your weight at your chest. When you lift your heels off the floor, you're in that boat pose. So really getting those abs working. All right, everyone, three seconds left. Two, stand up. Ready, set, cardio, go. Go, go right into it. One more round. Whew. One more round, 30 seconds. Come on. So I'm taking an impact here, but picking up my speed. Maybe you're adding a big hop. Right? Keep it up, keep it up. Come on, Terry, let's go. Come on, Liz. Keep it up, keep it up. We're getting close. You have five seconds left. Four, three, two. Let's do our sit up. Weight stay at your chest. No help from your arms. Ready, set, go. Weight is at least slightly bent. And then lift the heels twice without moving your back. Okay? Try to do without moving your upper body. That's a little harder, right? Woo! Press those weights together. Pull your abs in as you lift. Keep moving. This one's hard. Guess what? Five seconds left, and then we're gonna get our first break. It'll be for about one minute. And stop. All right, one minute on the stopwatch. How are we doing? Whew! I'm out of breath. Thumbs up, are you okay? You all are great. We're gonna do that two more times through, different exercises, of course. So grab your water, and I'm gonna demo exercise one of our second circuit. Woo, okay. Here's what we're doing. All right. Okay, so this one is a plank row into a step out or jump out. Sort of the second half of a burpee. All right, so here we go. Let me grab my stopwatch. Oh gosh, we gotta start in 15 seconds. So, plank row. I want the rows to be by, by your rib cage. I don't want them up here. I want your hand by your rib cage, okay? So in your plank, you row, okay? You row, you step or jump, lift your chest just for a second and then come back. Step or jump out, right? Maybe knees for extra support. All right, here we go. That's our first one. Ready, set, and start. Let's get my music back on. So plank row. What's our about weights, right? Step or jump your feet to the outside of your hands. Lift your chest, but keep your hips low. Step or jump back out and repeat. So a couple different options here. Keep it up. Keep it up. We have about 12 seconds left. 
And then you're gonna preview exercise number two. Whew. Remember those arms. Couple more seconds. Remember that row, your hands right by that root cage. And stop for a moment. Exercise two, quit in 15 seconds. All right, so reverse plank with the hip lift. Hands behind you. Leg straight, maybe here. Leg straight is harder. Hip lift. That is all we are doing. All right, hands, I like to have them rotated out, but rotated in. That feels a little more comfortable, go for that. Here we go, hands right under those shoulders. Three, two, 45 seconds, go. Hips lift, lower. So as soon as your hips go back down, bring them back up. You're gonna feel your shoulders, your triceps, also those core muscles, keep moving. Keep moving. So maybe it's a tabletop, that will be less weight on your hands if you're in this tabletop and you bend your knees. We are thrusting our hips Woo, up towards the ceiling, 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna grab those weights and stand up. All right, you've got three, two, we're gonna grab those weights. All right, stand up, sumo squat. Lighter weights, because this is shoulders. Open and close with the arms, open from your hips. We're nice and low. We're gonna open, close. We've got a little pulse with our sumo squat. All right, here we go. Starting three, two, go. So it's open and close. And each time you open, each time you close, you add a little pulse in that sumo squat. Keep moving. You want to imagine you're squeezing a pencil right in between your shoulder blades when you open and close. All right. Woo. So if those weights are too heavy, your elbows are going to be down here. I want them up here, right? Wall pose, come on. Keep it up. Sort of like the menorah, right? Keep going, got a couple more seconds. We've got three, two, one. Hold on to these light weights. This is a little more cardio power movement. We'll start with our right leg. Hands here. You're gonna jump into a lunge. Jump. As you do that, you also press and power up with your weights. Power movement, ready, set. Just the right leg, go. Press. So you step back into your lunge. As you do it, you add that press. Yes, yep, good, Terry. Now if you feel a little uncomfortable with that power movement, step and press instead, okay? Stay on that right side, keep it up. Step and press, once you've mastered, Try the little jump, okay? Maybe even without the weights to start. Woo! Keep it up, watch your knees. Couple more seconds, then we start from the top. All right? Keep it up. It's gonna be that plank row. Coming up. All right, you've got three, two, one. Back to the beginning, plank rows. Jumper step into that low squat. Ready, set? And go. Here we go. One minute. Plank row. And then step or jump. Those feet to your hands. Repeat. Remember, your feet are wide. They are wide in that plank. If you want it a little more challenging, you can narrow that base. Maybe start bringing those feet closer to one another. All right, you're halfway. 30 more seconds. It is a little longer. Remember that that hand, that row is coming up to that rib cage. I want you to pull that elbow up and back. I need rows on my knees. Still keeping a strong plank position. All right, tucking those hips under. We've got three. Two, one, reverse plank. Hip lift. Ready, set, and go. So, tabletop first, maybe. And then when you're ready for that extra challenge, straight legs. Even harder, hold your lift. 
knee to chest. And then lower those hips, repeat that. Woo! Yep, that's a little harder. <laughs> Keep moving. If you're feeling too much on your wrists, if this exercise is just not working, come on down and join me in skull pressures with those weights. Let's go. Woo! So no weight on those wrists. Always an option here. Let's go. I am pressing those weights, hammering them up to the ceiling. Keep moving. Or you're in that reverse plank and hip lift combo for three more seconds. Grab your light weights and stand up. Sumo squat, open, close, goal post arms, ready, set. Open from your hips first. Track those knees over your toes, ready, set, let's go. Form really, really important here. Keep it up. So we don't want that back to be arched, right? When we're doing that sumo, tuck those hips. If anything, bring your feet closer. They don't have to be super wide. Check in with your hips, right? Your range of motion. Do what works for you. Woo! Can we stay a little lower? Open. Close. Keep moving. I'm going to switch to just body weight, okay? Shoulders, where are they? Away from our ears. Away from our ears. Keep it up. Just show you from the side, tuck those hips, flat back, right? So I don't have the best flexibility in my hips. I'm just going to where I can, okay? You do the same. Three more seconds. Two, one. Grab those weights. We're going to do that jump lunge overhead, other side. It's that left leg. Ready, set, go. So maybe you want to start with those hands down. And then, woo, right? You have a power movement. Just be mindful of your back, right? Dish that ribcage together, core is working. Step and press, if you're not sure. Woo. Keep moving. We got 15 more seconds. Yes, this is the same as the other side. So we're even 45 each side. Keep it up, cardio core is coming up. Woo, I'm getting out of breath. Keep it up. Couple more seconds. Three, two, okay. Quick breather, very quick. Side shuffle, jumping jack. Side shuffle, be careful of your mat or your space, right? Side shuffle, plank jack. Tap or jump, and then our core. What's our core? Oh, my favorite. Just a standing side crunch, okay? Here we go, 30 seconds. Side shuffle, jack, go. Shuffle, shuffle. Move your weights, right, if you can. And also, it's okay if you're not facing me or the screen. If you have more movement going this way, then do that. Like I have a lot more movement. I have more room, I should say. Right? Keep it up. This is only 30 seconds. You've got five seconds left. Three, two, left side, go. Crunch. Left, left. So you're just balancing on your right leg. One dumbbell. Elbow to knee. Come on, let's go. Can you speed it up? Woo! Keep moving. What are we working? Obliques. You're here. You're bent over slightly and then crunch. Yes? A little bit of a bar movement. Come on. Woo! We got three, two, shuffle. Let's go. One more time. Come on. One more time through. Maybe you get a little bit lower here. Come on, come on, let's go. 10 seconds, can you get a little lower? Push it up. Arms straight up. Get ready for that standing side crunch with the right leg. Ready, set, go. Right leg, go. Crunch, crunch. Be mindful of that knee that's standing and stabilizing you, okay? So slow it down to start. If you feel ready, pick up that pace, right? 
Maybe using that wall, right? Keep it up, you have five seconds left, and then we break for a minute. Done. One minute, here we go. Grab some water. Woo. Sweaty, sweaty, one more. One more, keep moving, but do get your water. All right, so last circuit. Here we go. And again, looking at the time, we will go until about 6.05, 6.03. Um, so you get your full workout. We start at 5.18. So here we go. Uh, preview. Our first one, I'm just gonna show you that first one. Side punch. Do, do. I'm trying to remember what that one was. What? Um, oh, right, okay. So here we go. We have our 15 seconds we're gonna start. Heavy. Light, we're back in the sumo squat. Actually, I'd probably say heavy weight, okay? We're just gonna choose one side. Punch up, punch down. Done this one before. It's sort of a boxing move, right? So, right here, here. If you want a little harder, you're gonna add that jump. All right, here we go, time's up. We went over by three seconds. Ready, set, and let's do the right arm, go. Let's do the right arm. Up and down. So, punch high, punch low. You're in a wide squat. So if you have any shoulder, neck issues, I'd recommend a lighter weight for this. But if you're feeling good, grab that heavy dumbbell. 45 seconds, we're already halfway there. Extra challenge, jump as you punch up. Add that little jump. You're actually barely leaving the floor, okay? Other arm, you're, you're keeping it by your face, right? So no one's hitting you. Keep it up. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, I'm feeling those arms and I just have the light weight. Three, two, stop. Okay. Oh yes, down here. Next one, little bar action. We'll start with the right leg. You're here, drop to your forearm. This leg lifts up. Knee, elbow, tap, lift. Crunch, tap, lift. We're gonna work those glutes. Ready, step. You're on your left side, right leg up. No weight here, just body weight. Ready, set, go. So, knee to elbow, kick up, tap the floor, lift and repeat. So your back is very important here, even though we're on the floor. Make sure you're not bending and arching your back, All right? Your head, look down at the mat, unless you have to look at my screen, okay? Woo! You're on your forearm, right? How's that leg feeling? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling my glute. Let's keep our leg extended and pulse for the last 10. Pulse, pulse, straighten your leg. Pulse, lift higher. Lift, 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 lift. Four, three, two, one. Oh, my glutes. Okay, 15 seconds, here's your next one. We go right into a plank, you can look at my screen. That same leg. Lifts out, knee to chest, extend, in, extend. Maybe start with that opposite knee on the floor, right? And then when you're ready, come up into a full plank. Here we go, on our hands, ready, set, right leg extends, and go. You're in your plank, knee to chest, kick straight out. Knee to chest, kick straight out. Knee to chest, kick straight out. If it's too much on those wrists or back, go ahead and drop your left knee to the floor. Notice how nothing else in my body is moving, just that leg. Keep it up. Can you keep your back flat? Nothing else is moving, just that leg. I know you are doing it, I can't see you, but I know you're doing it. Woo! Don't allow your head to drop. Keep that neck long, we got a couple more seconds. And we'll go into our fourth exercise. So a lot of glutes here. You've got three, two, stand up. Sort of like a mountain climber, right? Stand up, grab those heavy weights. Curtsy lunge. A low curtsy lunge and tap. Again, that same leg. Our right leg. So it's holding weights at our chest. Curtsy, tap, curtsy, tap. Okay, stay low the whole time. Here we go, ready, set, 
right leg back and go. So curtsy, tap. And I'm just holding my weights at my chest. Maybe down there feels a little better for you. Woo! Keep it, we want to really be pay close attention to this standing knee, our left knee, okay? Pay close attention. Make sure it's not moving around too much. All right, keep it up. Are you feeling that glute? Are we feeling those glutes? Woo! Yes, Terry's like, yes, and I hate you. Well, I love you guys. Come on. Can you get a little lower? From the side, keep moving. Right? See how my hips are back? You should not feel this in your knees. If maybe you are today, glute bridges instead. Three, two, one. Shake it up. Let's do it all over again. One more time. We start with, oh yeah, our punch. It's that left arm. Ready, set, and go. Oh, I love the song. Woo. So it's that other arm. We do the right one first, I believe. Now it's the left. Remember you're adding that hop. If you want that extra challenge tonight, I want you to watch where your punch is going. Right? I'm watching you, but I want you to watch. Where are you punching? Where's that target? Come on. Woo. Keep that other arm up, right? It's a sumo squat as well. Woo, come on. Come on. Come on, Eric, this is our leg. We're doing legs. I know you were doing legs earlier. Come more seconds. Woo. Not for me. <laughs> Unless y'all kill me. Three, two. All right, come on down. I know our bar movement. Our glute, our leg lift, right? Start on the hands. Lower that right elbow down. Open up your body towards the front. Leg goes up, right? Knee to elbow. Extend, tap and lift. Ready, set, go. And it doesn't matter how high you get your leg. Doesn't matter. Just bring your knee to your elbow, right? So also our leg. I didn't say this earlier, keep moving. It's sort of at a diagonal. So it's not straight back behind you. We're sort of at a diagonal, okay? Remember that tap in between that crunch. Yes, knee to elbow crunch, tap without moving your back. All right? It's easy to sort of move and arch that back. I want you to turn all those core muscles real tight and stay steady. Can you stay steady? Let's pulse in 10 seconds. Keep it steady. Pulse 10, 9, 8. Can you get that leg a little straighter? Pulse, pulse, four, three. Feel the burn. All right, let's come up to our hands. Remember, we're on that plank. We bring that knee to our chest. All right, ready, set, and go. So watch my screen and then get into it. Woo! So think of like a single leg mountain climber, okay? But that body, your back is super flat and strong. Woo. So maybe start with that other knee on the floor. And then once you feel ready, take that knee off the floor. Keep your head up, come on. It's inhale, kick out, exhale, drive that knee to your chest. Less than 10, how are we doing? All right. Woo! Come on, tuck those hips under. Tight body around that waist. Keep it strong. Keep breathing. You've got five seconds. All right, stand up. Low curtsy lunge. Other side. Try those heavy weights. Ready, set. Ready, set. Go. So weights can beat your chest. Maybe down here. Maybe they're on your shoulders. Maybe it's no weights, right? Woo! So when you step back, you're gonna drop a little bit, but the key is, is staying low in this, okay? That's the key. No rushing. Okay, so last time I said if that was just too much on your back or your knees, bridges, okay? Bridges and maybe single leg. Okay, keep it up. Woo! Let's go. We are almost there. Four, three, two, 
Okay, cardio four, and then we're done. So two minutes left of work, and then we're done. Okay, here's our cardio four. Cardio, we have those light weights. Crisscross, crisscross, punch, punch. It's sort of a side, okay? So I'm reaching to the side as they punch up and overhead. Our theme is side body today. Core, no weights, hands behind your head. Okay, Pilates, crisscross, drop one leg, drop the other. Crisscross, drop. Keep those head, neck, and shoulders lifted, okay? A little harder, both legs at the same time. 30 seconds, light weights. Ready, set, go. Crisscross, punch overhead. Crisscross. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Keep it up, keep it up. Where are we at? You got about five seconds left. If you're crossing with that right foot, next time make sure to switch it up. Come on down into your back. Hands behind that head, keep your chest lifted. Ready, step, go. Crisscross the legs. One leg lowers, lower the other. If you want the extra challenge, lower both. And then back up. Woo, so I'm gonna try the extra challenge today. Glue your inner thighs together. Inhale, you lower, exhale, you lift up. Keep it up. So same thing here, your back does not move when you lower those legs. You should not be rocking. Just the legs lower, like a pair of scissors. Keep your back super flat. Three, two, stand up. Last time. Ready, set, go. Crisscross, make sure it's the other foot crossing. Woo. Maybe you wanna add a little more umph here. You can add a little tap in between. Maybe there's no crisscross and it's just a low impact. Tap and reach, right? Maybe it's crisp squat and then lift, right? Woo! Come on, a little more up. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Keep it up, keep it up. You got four, three, two. Come on down, let's go. Come on down, here we go. Last thing. Ready, set, go. Head up, hands behind, crisscross, double leg lower. Woo! Let's try that extra challenge. Try it once. Just try it once. Woo! Squeeze those inner thighs. Come on. Can you lift your head up an inch higher? Try it. Come on, 10 more seconds. Can you flatten your back a little harder into that mat? Okay, find your lowest point. I'm adding on 10 seconds. At least it's better than burpees, right? Lowest point, hold. Lowest point, hold. Flatten your back, head up, hold for four. Breathe, three, two, and one. Relax, head down, hug your knees into your chest. Woo, take a couple breaths, rock side to side. And we are done. Well, we gotta stretch, but we are done. Awesome, awesome work. Rock side to side. Let's go ahead and drop our knees over to that right side for a spinal twist. Being careful here. Extend your arms out to the letter T. Look over that opposite shoulder and hold here. Nice stretch in the side body. Slowly come up to the center. Inhale, exhale, drop them to the other side. Looking over that right shoulder. Take a breath here. And then let's come back up to the center and then release. Let's extend our right leg up, hamstring stretch. So keep your head, neck and shoulders down. Pull that leg in, circle your ankle, wiggle your toes. And then take that ankle up and over for that figure stretch. Awesome job. Hold this here. And then let's switch. Extend that leg up. 
Other side, keep your head down. So next Friday, we have a, um, our holiday party. It's gonna be a winter wonderland workout from 12 to 12.30. Me and Alicia, the Go Home manager, are gonna be team teaching that class. Go ahead and find that glute stretch. So that's gonna be the first half hour. Get a nice, um, good winter wonderland workout. And then the party ugly sweater theme will be um, starting around 12.30. We'll go until about, I don't know, 1.15ish. We're gonna have games, it's gonna be fun. So make sure to sign up for that. Mark it on your calendar. Get ready. All right, and go ahead and stretch, extend those legs out, arms overhead. Big deep breath and release. All right, let's roll over. Slowly, we'll find tabletop position for a cat cow and child's pose for our back. So we did a lot of core. So inhale, belly drops, chest lifts, and then exhale to the chest. Round your spine, let's do it one more time. Big inhale. Big exhale, and then bring those knees wide, sit way back into your heels, find that nice child's pose position. Take a few breaths. And then slowly roll yourself up. Let's find a down dog position, this time for a stretch. So really focusing on pressing that chest towards your thighs. Lifting those hips up and pedaling out your heels. Relax your head. And then slowly lower to those knees. And let's roll up to standing. Nice and slow, head comes up last. We'll do one standing side stretch and we'll be done. So let's come to the center of our workout space here. We're gonna bring those feet wide. Bend the knees, inhale, reach those arms up. You're gonna interlace your fingers. This is my show on my screen, but you're gonna reach all the way up and let's go over to that left side. So you could also just grab your wrist, reach it over, whatever feels a little more comfortable, but we're getting that right side body stretch. One more breath, inhale back to center and then exhale over to the other side. Maybe reaching and pulling that wrist. Pull those abs in, inhale center, exhale. Take those arms down. And then just slowly roll on down here. And then roll it up one last time just because that feels good. Roll the shoulders. Ooh, shake it out. All right, inhale, reach up all together. Exhale, shake it all out. And then one more time, big inhale and big exhale. Woo! Awesome! Thank you all for coming. Great job. How are we doing?